We're back. Hi, guys. After uh, yesterday's uh, program. Yes, the Metallica. Um, How great was Tony Dan? I felt really bad not talking to him. He seemed amazing, right? He was fun. He's, he's a, a fun nice dude, man. He's just a How nice guy. How you know? Guy. You left us. I know. I had him you for a You left us. I, all, all day I thought of what interview he liked me in. If I wasn't even made it by Pat Oswalt. <laughs> fucking someone else. You left us to, to try to get the Metallica picture. Yeah, I had to play that one out. A lot of people don't know. Uh, what happened? Even know what happened? Yeah, yeah. Because they might not follow us on Twitter, I or will. maybe they didn't listen yeah. to the after show yesterday. Oh, we kind of left them hanging on the regular show. I didn't even address it on Twitter. When I walked out of here, was there a hustle and a bustle out in the lobby area? It was very crowded. There's something had just happened. It right. looked like people were talking. And, right. And uh, I saw Florentine there, and yep. he was talking with um, young Sam Roberts was out there, yeah, yeah. and Club Soda Kenny and Roland, and, and everyone was on high alert yeah. and very, very nervous. And from everybody that I had spoken to as I was leaving, the scuttlebutt in the lobby was all about Jimmy yeah, Norton. That's right. They weren't and, nervous because Metallica was in the building. They were very no, nervous because no. they were all trying to get a, Jimmy's picture with Metallica. And it had already happened or not happened. Right, but but that's what everyone was talking about. When I walked up, I saw a Florentine. He was standing there, yeah. and he looked at me, and he he just shook his head. And he went, he shook his head, no, and just went, oh, <laughs> like it didn't happen. It did not happen. Yes. So but, walk us through it after you left um, the, during the Tony Danza. Well, I didn't know how long they'd be in oh, no, know, Howard Studios, so we were hanging outside. I just wanted to, you know, preparedness like a good Boy Scout. Yes. I wanted to be prepared, and there was just a lot of. Standing around and speculating. There was, a, you know, mm. there wasn't much that could be done until they walked out of the. Uh, I was actually, I didn't want to just stand there and look at Howard's studio, so I was standing back a little bit. But I was like looking into the fishbowl, but the reflection. Oh my! I could God. see the door, so this is why it looked like I was casually chatting. <laughs> That's not crazy at all. No, That's Jim. Actually, behavior. we we had left during a break to take a piss or whatever, yeah. and Jim was the only one in here. And Sam uh, handed Jimmy some copy. And Jim is reading the commercial. As he's reading the spot, he's scrolling through his yeah. phone, looking for that, waiting for that text to come through. Have to be there. Uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So it was paramount. I, I knew I had I knew this one wouldn't wouldn't. I mean, it was I wasn't uh, pissed about it though because people tried to make it happen. It, it wasn't like anybody was a dick about it. It was one of those things where they all just came in separately. Yeah. And they all just left separately. Well, sure. But that's... I, I guarantee they don't hang out anymore. Who was the first guy to leave? Kirk Hammett. So as soon as I was when, standing when out there... When you saw Kirk, though, leaving, were you thinking like, ha, ah, no, I, I gotta no, keep him. I, I, no, I knew, though. Because uh, when, when Kirk... It wasn't like... When, when Kirk Hammett walked out, he's walked out with this, this... He's a big, bald guy. I forget his name. He works for them. Who I've seen a million times with them. He's always with Kirk or James. He's got a big goat. He's a big boy. Mm. Um... And when I saw him walking Kirk out, I knew they were going right down the elevator. He you waved go, hey, at people. Asshole. Yeah, it, but it was like <laughs> the guy's just leaving. And then, yeah. um, so I just said, fuck it. And I just went and got my stuff in here. And when I came out, James had just left, like, you just missed James. I'm like, oh, I didn't care about seeing them individually. Right. And uh, uh, then I went to hop in the elevator, and Rob Trujillo was, got on the bassist. So I wound up talking to him, you know, and he was just, he's just a great guy. So, yeah. Yeah, it was, I appreciated people trying. And, what are you going to do? I, I didn't feel that bad because there's no way I could have. It was like no one was a dick about it. Right. It was like it was like they took a bunch of pictures and just didn't include little Jimmy. Yeah. Are you it, relieved well, today, though? Although now they, that it's over officially. I'll tell you what made me. Because you've been uh, working on this for about three days. But I got the picture. <laughs> Roland sent me the picture last night that we all took. In right. The, uh, and it, it bummed me out that James wasn't oh, there. Oh, it's so no, obvious. It's a wasted a picture. picture. I, I saw mine. I'm like, yeah, yeah without yeah. it. Because it's a beautiful really work, picture. picture. Yeah. It's, work, it's a though. fucking beautiful yeah. picture. Like they took the series. Whoever did photography, yeah, 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 took beautiful <laughs> fucking. Oh, photos. I saw the Sam Roberts one. Is it? Oh. Like, Lars is that's head. a perfect photo. I mean, without of course James is in there, but that's that's how you want a band photo. I tweeted it last night. Lars's head is turning into the bad guy from Tango and Cat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the big jaw guy. Uh, yes, <laughs> he really uh, is, and only love for Sam Roberts in uh, that picture. Yeah. I heard um, AIDS. Uh, you're a mutant. Uh -huh. um, yeah, plenty of love from the fans. Oh, that's nice. AIDS. Sorry. And it's always, yeah, it always hurts when men don't find yes, me attractive. Yes. Whenever men hey. have a problem with your looks, <laughs> your hair, your shoes, your clothes, Anything. oh, it really just busts me up. It's yeah. just a little creepy. Yeah. We had our own um, running with, um, not running, but 
Oh boy! Our did uh, we. James Hetfield sighting. Oh boy! Uh, did when we. we went downstairs, me and Ope went downstairs, oh, okay. and uh, <laughs> there was a fan standing there, and he had some pa- some pictures and whatnot. And he goes, "Oh, guys, big fan! Can I take a picture?" And he had a buddy with him, so he hands his buddy the camera. We were and, we uh, we were feeling good. Oh yeah! Like oh, look at us not? getting yeah. all, getting so we, recognized, and someone wants our picture. Yeah. We stand there, just, I mean, ready to snap. And he goes, there's James. And, and he goes, whoa, and runs off. <laughs> he goes, he goes, yeah, he, he goes, I got to get James. I got to get James. And he walks up to James. He's like, James, could you just sign this? Right? And James is just like not even acknowledging him. I, I just walking. I don't like that at all, man. And I'll tell you why. There was no one else around. I've seen it a bunch, and we're lucky enough to be in this spot uh-huh. where we see celebrities leave, and they're leaving in an area where there's no real fans around at all. I, I mean, outside the building is a whole different story. Dude, let me add- this guy happened to yeah. be in the lobby, and it would have taken James fucking five seconds tops to take a quick picture with this guy, and not only did he not take the picture, he just kept walking, and he was kind of just nodding at the guy, but yeah, yeah. more like w- looking for the door and get the fuck yeah, out. Yeah. I saw Lady Gaga do that shit, and a few others. It's like, I saw Miley Cyrus do that. Did you Because we leave with a lot was, of the celebrities, because uh, everyone's ending at the same time. Was that he, was guy, guy seemed like an eBay guy. That's what I was going to ask you. And he they didn't hit, seem like, because he had pictures in his hands, man. a folder. Whatever. It, yeah. A folder? Yeah, they got a lot Whatever, of those guys. Man. Whatever. Yeah. If we are lucky enough to be that famous, I don't give a fuck of someone making a few bucks on on eBay off a yeah. photograph. Yeah, I think uh, a lot cares? of those guys hate them. Like, I think they 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 don't. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think they just hate them. Yeah, they hate them. He was looking for a picture though. So that's was he? Yeah. I, thought, I heard signed. Someone I told me he, he tried. Signed, someone told me yeah. he tried to get James to sign. I heard that story about James. I didn't hear about you guys. Yeah. That no, was, yeah. Oh yeah. Then, me. then me, and, me and Anna standing there. We watch him and, run after and James a little, and then we're just like, and we're like, fuck this, fuck this guy we're waiting around. So he didn't get a James picture or signature, and he didn't get our picture. Right. Fuck him. We just <laughs> left at that point. We're like, fuck, like, we're not waiting me. around now as he tries to no. get something off Headfield. Waiting with our arms still out for him to come in there so we, they're around him. <laughs> Look, a lot of celebrities do that. I, I don't like it. I've no. seen it uh, with my own eyes, and mm. uh, you know, I, I'm sure they have their reasoning, yeah. uh, I, I their guess. reasons, whatever, but. It's just I don't know, man. The, 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 mm. it, it's it, I I understand like if if they're walking through like a, a busy area and they stop, that could be a problem because then everyone's like, oh fuck that, who's that? Uh-huh. Oh fuck, I need a picture too. Then it becomes a everyone starts swarming. But when you know it's only one or two guys and and no one else is around, I I don't see what mm. what the harm is really. I heard uh, on the Sam Roberts after show yeah. yesterday that. Uh, um, Jim Florentine was on it, mm-hmm. and uh, Jim said every time the Howard area door opened, all they s- he saw were like flashes going off from pic- people taking pictures with Metallica. But it might not have been Metallica, like as a. I mean, I'm sure they took band pictures. Yeah. But back to after that show ended, because I think Scott knows Lars pretty well, because Lars was the last one out, and then after, after James left, it was uh, Trujillo left. Hmm. And then Lars was still in there when I left. So I imagine they were back there all talking. I, I don't imagine they were just standing there for a long, taking a bunch of as Metallica pictures. Mm. And if they were, they were. But I have no access to that area. I don't feel... Which is crazy. Nah, you know what? We don't. I don't know how. I mean, we, we, we've, we've chatted briefly in the hallway. That doesn't... I don't expect to be brought back to his studio one by one of his people. Family. But you know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't expect that. We're supposed that. to be one big happy family where we try one to take care of each other family. from time to time. You know. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It's all about him, and and it and we're supposed been, to always will be. We're Sorry. supposed to show that loyalty with for the company, and we're we're told a lot of times, you know, uh, it's not good for the company if you you sure. know lambast uh, them or go off on this or do that. And it's like okay, but there is nothing that is put on the other side. Like when when they have guests over there and they keep them long so we don't get them. If we ever did that, there'd be hell to pay. It's there's a double standard, sure, obviously, with yeah. both the shows, and I think one of them is the fact that. You know, we 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 would get uh, shit on and not have an opportunity to maybe just walk through that sacred fucking door into the Wizard of Oz <laughs> and, and fucking take a picture with Metallica. It's crazy. That fucking door is like, <laughs> you know, pure honest, lunacy, man. <laughs> right? It's I didn't pure ask, fucking lunacy. It's not like I asked Gary uh, Delabati and he said no either. I didn't, you know, I, I asked Ross Zapin as he walked in and he actually walked in and asked Metallica's people, n- but did, we did just, he ask no. Yeah, I think he did. As soon as he closes that door behind you, then, you know, he can make believe he asked. Nah, I, I'm just he, saying that's a possibility. Hey, go to no the, idea. Going to Gophers? Right, right. Got any extra tickets? What, are you crazy? 
Yeah, I talked to my manager, and he's going to take $100 off that true <laughs> coat. He did not. <laughs> he might not, because he, he, he knew who to ask for. And uh, yeah. I, I think he would just, if, if you don't want it to come back that you didn't do something, yeah. well, why wouldn't he? Yeah. If well, he didn't, he did. But I mean, whatever. I think, I think people did make the effort, and I appreciate the effort. Yeah, yeah. But he's in The Wizard of Oz. Yes, I mean, this, The Wizard. You know, yeah. Pay no attention to the man behind that door with a fist on it. And the wizard himself is starting to look like a, a, an old aunt. <laughs> Auntie M. Auntie M. Auntie H. Auntie H. Auntie H. I think he's wearing girls' clothes now. Is I'm, it? Yes. That I think, scarf was a little I weird. I think officially he's wearing girls' clothes. Grandma's scarf was a little weird. Yeah, a little strange. There might be a picture floating around where he looks like an aunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, little uh, frilly. A bit frilly for my taste. <laughs> Uh, Iraq, you handed me a note over here. Is this your handwriting? Yes. What is this? Well, we found out after the after show mm. um, from several people in the hallway that uh, I guess while Jim was waiting in the lobby to find out what was going on with Metallica, right? At one point, Metallica wasn't even in Howard's area. They were in the hallway over here in Jose's office, just hanging out. All of them. All of them. And then Kurt they really? went back in through Howard's compound through the back end, yeah, yeah. got his bag, and that's when he left. The other true? guys were still was over in Jose's office. Uh, the whole band was in Jose's office? That's what we said to yeah. me after, yeah. Uh, wow. I didn't know. And, and Jose knew we were looking, but I don't, know, I don't know if he knew I was. I don't know. But that's what we found out when we everything was done and we walked back to the office. You're usually pretty good with details, were, uh, Jimmy. You're usually pretty good with details. <laughs> wow. Walked That's by possible. Jose's office, the whole band's in there. Hey, Jose, what's up? Oh, hey, guys, you mind if I get a pic? And then you sit wow. there. Wow. Oh, fuck, I wish I would have known that. No, I didn't know. Hey, if oh, we knew, man. we would have said something, but... Yeah. Mm, maybe we shouldn't have told Jimmy that. Mm. You, uh... Yeah, you missed Tony Danza. Yeah, he was really <clears> cool. <throat> yeah, it was just a whole, uh... Well, how did musical he, thing. <laughs> how did he react when, uh... Half the room left. It was so funny. Right in the middle of the conversation, yeah, Jimmy oh, gets yeah, he's up to totally leave, cool. and he just goes, "Oh, Metallica, Metallica!" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, he he knew. Knew. you even got Very Tony cool. Danza involved. He knew but Tony <laughs> Danza was <laughs> nervous. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah he was at, cool. I'm looking at my almost Metallica Fuck. picture right now. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Yeah, I, I, I. I, I saw mean, they're it. all superstars in their own right, right. but you, you know, when you're in a group thing. Mm -hmm. Why did it download this instead of the actual picture? Oh, the boy. Fuck. What happened there? I don't know. <laughs> Where's the picture? It's fun, though. You get to pretend you're the fourth guy. That is true. It's almost like uh, yeah. taking a picture with the cardboard cutouts, yeah. and you're the singer. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's what the... Uh, just Photoshop James in there somewhere. It doesn't matter. Get a picture off of back. Google. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking just crop it out. Beautiful. Yeah, it'd be beautiful. Let's see. I don't He's know. tall. You could just put him behind everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So cheesy. <clears throat> huh? That'd be so cheesy if somebody yeah. actually did that. Just do that. Fuck it. Um, Fuck. And then downstairs, I guess. <laughs> Watch Jimmy. That's irritating. If they're uh, all bad with Jose's office and no one says anything, like, ugh. Uh, they should say something. They should have said something. Yeah, of course. We all knew that you needed the picture. Yeah, Everyone why was on high alert. Tell them. Is that true? Yeah. I heard that. Uh, what, what were they doing in there? Uh, saying hi, I guess I don't know. They told me after I got off the air, like at, like at eleven thirty in the morning, they said, "Yeah, uh, they came to say hi to Jose, and they were all hanging out in his office." Who knows if it was the whole band or if it was fucking? They said it was a band. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Like obviously, I didn't see it. It was a <clears throat> in the lobby, but hmm. was it the whole band? Because they said, you know, Howard's got that back door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they went through his back door, hung Ooh. out in Jose's office for a sec, Sexy. and then went back through the back door and around. Mm. Um, don't you have another opportunity? No. Oh, I thought you did. Nope, that's it. That's it. That is it. You sure? Yeah. Mm. Not good. No. It does suck. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I knew that, light, but I, that one I kind of saw coming, though. That one I was like, eh, it's just not going to happen. Yeah, you could tell the vibe. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bad and vibe. I don't really know anybody well in their... Yeah, in their area, like uh -huh. I don't know their individual managers or the band's man. You know, I don't know any of the yeah. people yeah. I would need to know to walk right up. Mm. Yeah. Should be able to. We're in the same fucking building. Yeah, that would be nice. Amazing, amazing. Oh. That what are you gonna do? <sighs> life, life goes on. Life goes say. on, right? Life must go on. And then, of course, you, you know, didn't get a Tony Danza picture. I already have one from years ago at NEW. Oh, oh perfect. Um, 
And then the uh, I have a big cum stain on my shirt. I forgot. They, oh. I didn't have it with me to get signed. I thought they did. But I, was, uh, I remember it was at NEW. I had a giant load on my stomach. Yeah. What, when you got the Tony Danza my bla- picture? The black shirt, I had been, you can see it, like, it's a washed out load stain. Were you edging? Um, no, that was a full batch. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh. And I hate playing those things out on the air, because the fans I know, some it's of them like it. Awesome no, no, but some of them like it, and some of them hate it. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, I know some of them do. Well, you know what? That's just how it goes. With everything. But With I everything. A, I wound up in a Twitter battle yesterday. Over this? Oh, yeah. It, it's it's amazing. This is just how it goes. That's They're, they're just assholes. I get a, as soon as you accept that they're assholes, you can uh, sleep better. I night. get a tweet from some girl, because there was a cancer benefit for this fan that they've been asking me to do. Right. Um, oh, and I t- me and Levy had texted about it, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be in New York. It's on a Saturday afternoon, mm-hmm. the October the 19th here in New York, and I just don't know if I'm going to be here. So uh, I guess I didn't see the emails from a couple of the fans. Oh, boy. Um, so this girl uh, goes on Twitter and says, uh, oh, like, Jim Norton's uh, fanboy d- is disgusting. He does something, something, I'm paraphrasing. He doesn't even care about a guy with cancer or something. It was like some real uh, cunty thing. What, trying to connect the two? Well, just saying, like, I care too much about a Metallica photo, but not about a, f- a fan who has uh, cancer. You, you know. should get cancer. You should only get cancer. Uh, that's a stretch because, uh, yeah. uh, like, it's, like we have to say this, Jimmy's done a lot of but, a lot of good and a lot of charity gigs. But it was just like, you know. That's just not fair. Man. So I blessed. I, I say something like, you're a twat. I said, I, I didn't even. She's like, oh, you could answer the email. I, I'm like, I didn't see the emails. You twat in, in a private message on Twitter. And then she posts the private message, which you always know that could happen. And then... Says, look what I just got for Jim Norton. So she makes it public. So I blast her back publicly. And then she's like, oh, he's trying to rally the troops. It's like, you fucking bitch. You blast me publicly. Then I send you a private message. Then you post it again publicly. And then I address you publicly. And now I'm trying to. Now you're trying to rally the troops. And then everyone's telling me, no, she's not a cunt. She's just worried about her friend. Uh, Really? And it's like, look, you white knights. (laughs) She was shitty. (laughs) And I blasted her for being shitty. That, she was shitting me for yeah. no fucking reason. And they're like, well, she really likes you. It's like, well, then you know what? Well, if then, you, then, uh, then I'd act like it. Don't right. be a shithead publicly for no fucking reason. Fuck her, bitch. I addressed it with Bob Levy. I don't have an answer yet. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going to be. I'm trying to book. I just booked Rochester for the end of October. So there's one week in October that's open. It's that weekend. And as of now, I'm in New York, but I'm trying to fill it because I'm warming up for a dice gig. So I want to make sure that I'm on the road those Wait, three weeks. you're going to Rochester? When? I literally just booked it yesterday. Uh, well, if you go, I go. Period. <laughs> Whatever. The thing what is, I don't say it. I think it's the last. Not around Halloween, though, right? No, 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 no. All right. We're going to do this. No, 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 no. But it's amazing how... I got a Rochester weekend in my plans. These fucking fans nice. want to tell you what great big fans they are and how they follow you. And I realize I'll never unblock another person on Twitter. No. Never. Because the guy yesterday, one of, one of the white knights, uh, why'd you block me? Because, you know, they all want to at mention you. It's like, you can shit talk me, but don't at mention me because that's... I don't search my name out. I search out my right. at mentions. So if you at mention me, you're saying something to me. So you want me to react or you want me to exactly. hear it. Exactly. So, oh, I love a good block. But and I've unblocked people, a lot oh, of people. Blocking me, I don't unblock. I won't anymore. I think I've given one or two reprieves yeah. over the uh, course of it, and that was because it was a blatant error. Like, like, oh, I, I hit the wrong fucking block thing, and and they were able to convince me of that. But if it, because at whatever point during when I was reading Twitter, I decided to block someone, I was pissed at them. And, and no matter how much time goes by or anything, right? Blocked. Twitter's evil. It is evil. I'm tweeting less. It's such. Uh, there's I'll, a lot of. Uh, I'll wait for the next fun thing. Nastiness there. <laughs> yeah, I'm the tweeting next less. fun thing. I don't That's mind the like... nastiness, but then they apologize and then you unblock them and then and then like this this just back from Long Island. No hey, change. dude, really sorry. It's like okay, cool, and then they do it again. It's like why would I have unblocked this asshole to begin with? He's just a twat. They're that. That's how they are. That's the how, what type of people they are. So you don't fucking unblock them. So, so I don't. I, this girl, everyone's that's sticking up for saying she's a nice girl that she just had a bed. Her friend's really sick with cancer. Look, the benefits October nineteenth. I don't know the details yet. I know Levy's doing it. Colin might be doing it. Um, um, I just don't. It's here in the city. It's in the afternoon. It's from like two mm-hmm. to five p.m. But here's a word of advice: if you want to get a thing where you can guarantee comedians in advance. Don't hold it on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. That's when our everyone, road work is. Everyone has gigs. A lot of, yeah, you it's harder. You gotta do it during the week. It's you have harder to. to know where I'm gonna be on a weekend. Yeah. I just booked a, a benefit in February on a Tuesday. Because chances are, 
Ooh. I'll be here unless it's a TV show, like, you know, Leno or something. Mm -hmm. But for fucking a weekend, it's really hard to commit to that because yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be gone or not. And they don't understand that. And then they fucking attack you for it. And then you blast them back. And all the other fans, these white knights line up. Hey, 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 whoa, what are you? She's a good girl. Oh, God, I hate them. White knights. A scourge on, oh, on the internet. God. Hey. Uh, don't listen to him. Uh, what do you think? She's going to fucking end up at your house, knocking on your door. Thank you so much for the help. Please lick my pussy. <laughs> yeah, especially when, it's like when she's fucking blasting me for, I don't even know who she is. Yeah. And she's telling me I'm disgusting and I don't care about people. Like, Fuck I got cancer. you then. Really Fuck irritating. her. Had it. <laughs> Twitter people. God. <laughs> 